Praise the Lord. Welcome back, saints and seekers of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you for joining me for the reading of the Word this evening. Praise God. We often reference Matthew chapter 24 when the disciples asked Jesus about the destruction of the temple and end time things when his uh, kingdom would be restored. But Luke also relates what Jesus was saying in Luke chapter 21. So I just want to read that, just reminding us of things, the times that we are in, <clears throat> how important it is to know what's coming, because then we can be aware and prepared. To be forewarned is forearmed. That is so true. There are many people that, the things that are coming on this earth, it will take them by surprise because they wouldn't listen. They chose not to listen. They stayed busy with their lives and the way they wanted to do things instead of giving reverence and acknowledgement to God and laying down their life, their way of doing things for His way of doing things. Well, if you've made up your mind to follow the Lord Jesus, you have made the right choice because we are in what is known as perilous times. Chapter 21 of Luke, And he looked up and saw the rich men casting their gifts into the treasury. And he saw also a certain poor widow casting in thither two mites. And he said, so this is Jesus speaking, of a truth, I say unto you that this poor widow hath cast in more than they all. For all these have of their abundance cast in unto the offerings of God. But she of her penury hath cast in all the living that she had. And as some spake of the temple, how it was adorned with goodly stones and gifts, he said, as for these things which ye behold, and he's referencing the temple that they're admiring, the days will come in the which there shall not be left one stone upon another that shall not be thrown down. So he addresses the temple to them there. Not the end times right now, but just the destruction of the temple. And this happened in 70 A.D., Verse 7, And they asked him, saying, Master, but when shall these things be? And what sign will there be when these things shall come to pass? And he said, Take heed that ye be not deceived. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ. And the time draweth near. Go ye not therefore after them. But when ye shall hear of wars and commotions, be not terrified. For these things must first come to pass, but the end is not by and by. Then said he unto them, so he sort of shifts gears here. He was telling them that uh, they would see those things. Many sang their cries, wars and commotions, but the end is not by and by. And now he speaks of end times. Then said he unto them, nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom, and great earthquakes shall be in diverse places, and famines and pestilences, and fearful sights, and great signs shall there be from heaven. But before all of these, they shall lay their hands on you and persecute you, delivering you up to the synagogues and into prisons, being brought before kings and rulers for my name's sake, and it shall turn to you for a testimony." Settle it therefore in your hearts, not to meditate before what ye shall answer. For I will give you a mouth and wisdom, which all your adversaries shall not be able to gainsay nor resist. And ye shall be betrayed both by parents and brethren, and kinsfolks and friends. And some of you shall they cause to be put to death. And ye shall be hated of all men for my name's sake. But there shall not an hair of your head perish. In your patience possess ye your souls. And when ye shall see Jerusalem compassed with armies, then know that the desolation thereof is nigh. Then let them which are in Judea flee to the mountains, and let them which are in the midst of it depart out. And let not them that are in the countries enter therein too. For these be the days of vengeance, that all things which are written may be fulfilled. 
but woe unto them that are with child and to them that give suck in those days, for there shall be great distress in the land and wrath upon this people. And they shall fall by the edge of the sword and shall be led away captive into all nations, and Jerusalem shall be trodden down of the Gentiles until the times of the Gentiles be fulfilled. And there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars and upon the earth, distress of nations with perplexity, the sea and the waves roaring, men's hearts failing them for fear and for looking after those things which are coming on the earth, for the powers of heaven shall be shaken. And then shall they see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and great glory. And when these things begin to come to pass, then look up and lift up your